in Bloomington in many ways feels like the city has shut down. My colleague Ethan Burks has been talking to a lot of local restaurant and bar owners this week. He joins us now downtown. The city of Bloomington boasts more than 100 bars and restaurants in its downtown area. Most days you can walk up to your favorite bar and grab a pint or your favorite restaurant and get a meal. But for right now, most have closed its doors from fear of spreading the coronavirus. Nick's English Hut, a downtown Bloomington staple, closed its doors Monday. This comes after Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb ordered all restaurants and bars to close for in-person dining to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. I was prepared for that closure. I wasn't prepared for what was going to happen next after I made those statements to my key people. The governor's announcement still means restaurants can sell carry-out and delivery meals until the end of March, but that's not something Bright and her managers feel comfortable with. We need a quarantine to lessen the curve. We don't need to be encouraging people to come out, um, let alone to work. Bright says the staff will clean the restaurant over the next couple of days, and the remaining perishable foods will be given to staff members to take home. She says the next step is for the main managers to brainstorm a strategy for the future, but they will have to let some of the entry-level employees go. It's heartbreaking. Yep, it's... We're a family here, so when somebody's in trouble and can't find enough food to supply themselves, one of us will step in. They know they have a good network of people. Other restaurants are facing the same problems. Local restaurant owner and entrepreneur Jeff Meese says there isn't much restaurants can do without slashing labor costs. It's decimated. There's just no easy way. We had a meeting with 50 staff people yesterday who were helping very quickly get to get on state unemployment. That's going to pay them about 47 percent of their wages. Meese is in charge of a large staff because he has ownership stake in several businesses such as Lenny's, Pizza X, Hive, Bloomington Brewing Company, and One World Catering and Events. Although Lenny's will also be closing during this time, Mies says Pizza X and Hive are equipped for delivery and takeout orders. I'm worried that these smaller operations, when they're, they just totally lose 100% of their sales, uh, it's just not easy to ramp up a profitable delivery and carryout situation fast when your customers are not used to doing that. Bloomington Bagel Company is a local restaurant willing to commit to the new rules put in place. Owner Sue Aquila says its entire downtown location has transformed into a walk-up window for takeout. I actually in early January realized that we might have a problem coming down the pipe. So I was thinking about it a long time and we knew that the garage doors would be a great solution for something like this to keep everyone protected. Aquila says she's confident in her ability to pivot in this situation, but she questions why business owners are having to make these decisions themselves instead of getting more guidance. Luckily, the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce has a few resources on its website. The website shows what kind of emergency loans are available and what types of safety measures can be used to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. But above all, the Chamber wants the community to still be active consumers. Supporting local business, uh, still making an effort to order from your favorite restaurant or um, find a way to shop online if you need something uh, will keep those people, your neighbors and your friends in, in business and, and help them have continue to have jobs. Predmore says it's still unclear what the best approach is at this point, but the most important thing is to keep communicating with local businesses as the situation continues to change. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ethan Burks.